So Davis and White with the lead, as you see, Virtue and Moyer in second place and looking to move into the top three, Ekaterina Bobova, Dmitry Sloviev. This is a team that has a, a new coach this year, and Alexander Julin has uh, transformed this team, changing everything from their hair to their skating style, and it's worked. Uh, they won their very first European title in January. And at the European Championships, Brenda, in the short program, uh, they were the third highest team this year. Their score there behind uh, Virtua Moyer and Davis and White in the overall standings page. So they're in good shape to get on the podium here. A story about meeting at the ball. team that we just saw speed with ease and fluidity. Nice edge work. Zula has done with this team is given them a lighter look. Watching the twizzle section here as they execute it nicely. He's also changed their skating positions. They used to be very low and bent over. And now they're more elegant, more upright. That was an interesting oh. conclusion, but not effective. And messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I didn't like that. From I, Russia, it sort I, was, of, I was really enjoying the skate. I thought yeah. this team is so clean now, and you can see their good skating, and, and I just don't think it was a good decision choreographically, but a great skating team. A, a great skate that wound down to and nothing. To yeah. nothing. Yeah. And so they took this energy that they created at the beginning and let it get away from them somewhat go. And the last he, team in the competition, too. Yeah, but more importantly, this is the short dance. It's about technical execution. Um, did they get the job done that the technical panel is requiring? They've been awfully tough tonight. Well, they'll be hoping to move up into the top three with the Americans, the Canadians, and the French. Uh, the French, Pechelin Borzat in third place right now. Uh, their score is around uh, 69 points. <laughs> and there's their coach, Sasha Zula. He was a world champion with Maya Usava. 
very creative man. I was lucky enough to work with him as a choreographer in a program, and people still talk to me about that. They don't forget his work. Here's a look at their twizzles. If you watch the blade, you don't see it rocking back and forth. Very consistent, turning around each turn on that certain spot of the blade that just sizzles along. Yeah, and Kurt, you mentioned about how the skaters have to go in their good direction and their bad direction. It's like kind of like trying to hit a home run both, both ways. ways. Yeah. Um, and these skaters have to learn it, and that's something that the new system in skating demanded from the ice dance, bringing the sport, the technical component into it, and quantifying it so it was just wasn't sort of what kind of style of dance do you like. Well, Bobrova and Slovium have been the top-ranked Russian team since the retirement of Oksana Domnina and Maxim Shabalim, the 2010 Olympic bronze medalists. In the kissing cry, they look quite pleased with that short dance. Brenda, you mentioned uh, the French team, 69.65. That's what they're looking to beat. And they've got it. A new season's best score will put Bobrova and Solovia into the top three as they look ahead to the free dance. So the French team, the world bronze medalist from last year, will move down into fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, this completes the short dance. Now let's head back to Scott Russell. Scott. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes our event for